Hafu Nelson was sharing this moment in Discord. I think after it we, we don't have so many notes and analyzes in Discord. I mean, after round 3, definitely I was disappointed, guys. I, I wanted to, to win this championship without loss. Maybe it's too much, I know, maybe it's too much, but I felt the power, so if I... <laughs> If I lose a game after game, probably it was over in my mind, but actually you're all right. If I win round 8 and round 9, maybe I could become a winner, I could become champion, but I didn't think about that. Um, the problem is the person video who won, who started the tournament with 4 out of 4, she had a Queenside Castle afterwards. <laughs> Uh, three loses in a row against low rated uh, players, so uh, th th this makes the tournament interesting actually. Otherwise, she was a real leader. 97 is like even Chooks 97 in a recent online tournament. <laughs> yeah, Kafu Nelson was showing that. Okay, so this was the game DC. He came with Knight takes e5. What's, what's wrong with Knight takes e5, by the way? What's wrong if now Black? capture here. By the way, I was uh, hoping even for that move. She didn't play that. Accuracy. I want to see the accuracy too. Bishop takes h7 works. Is it working? Oh, 91.8 91 91 for me. 86 for her. Okay. Yeah, in case of knight takes e5, bishop takes h7 for those of you who didn't really count. Even in the classical way, you don't really have a king g6 right now because of the knight. So when you come here, queen h5, and there is a nobody on f6 to save up the checkmate. So, easy, yeah? Easy job. <laughs> Despite the dumpster so far. Just come server lately, yeah. Chizuz Gong server lately, I think uh, Chizuz Gong was crushed many many times, the games uh, have been lost, especially against Arriva, the, the, the most decisive game I think so in my mind, I could win the championship if I won that game and the game was totally winning, <laughs> I repeat that. So I didn't wish to continue the tournament after this game, uh, again, doesn't really matter the next game, so I, I accept it like that, maybe it's too much in my mind, maybe I didn't train enough, so let's accept it like that. Maybe I didn't do enough push-ups before the tournament, um, but I don't think so. Others did push-ups, uh, except young players, and she's not a young player, so that's that's the bad point for me. Uh, get any new chizibu course? <laughs> okay, so now it's over. That's why my opponent simply captured with the queen takes e5, bishop takes e4. Um, Politics and boom, 97. Seems like a brilliant move. Yes, computers also agree with that. 97. Not that huge uh, duration, you can see 1.5. Um, but brilliant move is a brilliant move. 97. It's easy to find out that because it's discover attack. And it's easy because when you capture on D6, there's gonna be bum bum bum. Diagonal threat of everybody. Um she was thinking about some other sacrifices, but I think she find out a good defense here in advance. So let's continue because we have, I think, a little bit more tactics on the way. Nothing so specific, but Queen C8, that looks like very, very good, uh, very good move. I play Knight G5. Um, I play Knight G5 because if I take the Knight uh, after simple Rook E8. I think uh, I couldn't find a super way how to continue. So that's why 95. Here we go. Queen h5. I wanted to provoke any weakness here and just to take the e4 pawn. Alright, extra pawn. I have no idea why she didn't come here. Aha, wait. And now is coming the moment, I think, where I didn't find out the best move. Um, here, queen b3 was slightly better. Okay. Hmm. All right, so here I play bishop a3. What was better than bishop a3? Is there a way somebody could guess? What is a better than uh, rook ad81? Hmm. 
Until centralized, uh, rook a d1, bishop a3, keep distance, and then rook a d1. And also, I'm supposed to jump on d6, I'm supposed to jump on c5, rook a d1. Everything looks great. But what could be more aggressive than bishop a3? Bishop a3 is uh, line number 2 by engine. I think it's one of the best also. I guess you will buy great so again. <laughs> some of their openings, but prefer open Sicilian. The champion, the champion uh, Radeva is playing open Sicilian and also she used to play some Queen takes d4 lines. By the way, I checked out that I had some uh, problems by black against her. I think she was the only one person who I have opening problems against her. Uh, she did great job uh, at the beginning, uh, she just did a bad job in the middle game part, she could beat me, yeah. So, some variations with the either, either bishop b5, depends on, uh, so queen takes d4. Knight c5 followed by rook e d1, yeah, but if knight c5, uh, anyway, I follow, I follow my plan with bishop c6. Book list kind of old. Mm. So rook d1, I simply also could not care about that and play just just to cover the, the, the knight. So the whole plan was to uh, push black to stay on f8 with the rook. So... That's a criticism of thing like a grandmaster. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of old too. <laughs> no, uh, I think this is pretty actually old variation, but Queen takes d4 is having some some more uh, different scenario, different different move order. Very very sneaky variations with the Queen takes d4, with c4, without c4, with knight c3, without knight c3, uh, with the queen side castle, even with the king side castle. So Queen takes d4, let's say, is giving you the freedom in Sicilian. That's what I realized out of this tournament preparing me personally by black uh, against against white Radeva, the crown champion. Uh, so I just I just give you um, <laughs> I just give you an idea what you could do, guys. Check out Queen takes d4, some other scenario with, and uh, you you will be impressed. Actually, um, just get burden. She's a kid. Who's a kid? <laughs> you don't like knight of six check? Yeah, knight of six check. Wait, now six check. Hey, hey, coach, how are you doing? Wait, who has birthday? Jaxor has a birthday now? Wait, Jaxor is in December, no? You thought Elephant Gambit to book list. <laughs> uh, yeah, Elephant is crazy, yeah. 56. January? Oh, really? Ah, uh, Lucas is in December. Jackson is in uh, January. Oh, 29th? Happy birthday to you! <laughs> Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Jackson! I wish you all the best! 2700! <laughs> Alright, best hell, Jackson! Keep going! Last bullet! Check out your mood! Don't be addicted to the chess table, but soon I'm coming to the chess table videos too. Let's work on your endgame technique. <laughs> it's gonna cost me 3-4 miles to start with, but I hope uh, I will uh, join to the club soon. I did uh, communicate with somebody better than the previous guy, let's say. So I hope I will start uh, also uh, working there. They give me actually the beginner section. <laughs> this should be nice. Um, opening book. You recommend for beginner trying to break into intermediate. Yeah, coach is also in December, and maybe that's why I remember December. <laughs> we have chess mode already. 
Yeah, but now Logis, uh, who who was uh, addicted to the chess able, now he moved to the chess mode. Well, or at least trying to check out Bob. Try to take benefits uh, out of both the websites. I think chess mode are working on your psychology, guys, with all these blocks. Time to time I'm reading Avatic Grigorian also blogs and they are a friend of me also who I have a match with him and uh, he gave me also this access to the memberships and then I donated to um, um, they are pretty pretty open pretty good guys pretty good guys and they're working on the chess psychology too it's not only moves you know it's not only about chess board moves play this play this play this it's also about uh, looking uh, different point of chess too at the same time explaining well and they have also masterclass yeah so guys i don't get any greetings sent by bulgarian post <laughs> uh okay i'm just a left hand member yeah just my am yearly pro member now Okay, G1. Okay, G1 is the is the other candidate for sure. Super Ship Six is coming. Um, so yeah, this is on the way. This is on the way of thread. Scottish national team, round one and two. Oh, and what's happened? Hey, what's happened, coach? What's happened? So you don't really have a so good discover attack. I just can't hear. This is the problem. Look at Queen C5. This is the move where I fall asleep. For instance, such a such a simple moves. I really fall asleep. Guys, why Rook E8 is not existing? Why Rook E8 is terrible move and it's impossible? This is what I fall asleep. This is the most White's amazing turn. move right now. Amazing I'm move by me. Please push <laughs> yourself to find it. Post of chest three weeks per move. <laughs> Bishop C796. Easy. Bishop C796. Well, there's some counter attack like B6 in the end of the line. Um, so, Bishop C7, Queen C896. There's some um, probably counter attack, but we can simply come here and still no play is amazing, no play for the black queen. If you talk about rook c8 right now, it's okay, but there is a boom, boom, and boom here. It's gonna be a very, very simple chance, and it's not only losing given exchange, it's also losing the up coming bishop on d7 so in case of 95 we simple push any of those pawn b6 doesn't work we simply take the bishop and afterwards the 